Hello! Hello everybody! And welcome to another puppet show where we paint a puppet. Now, today I'm not gonna be working on uh, the usual Reaper content that we do here because I am on a gigantic schedule for my work to be done and I have to finish this puppet and uh, I've been told many times that I can kind of do whatever I want on this stream so if I need to finish a commission I can so what a better day to finish a commission! She's like a Christmas spirit, you know, with the red clothing and everything. Hello! Hello everybody! Hello! Thank you! Thank you, Quidly. So yeah, I've been uh, I've been working on this lady. I, I actually, like, while I was waiting to go live, uh, I was watching Anne and I was uh, listening to the conversations and everything while painting her because I do need to finish her, so... It is. It has been an amazing journey. This paint job has taught me way more than I thought it could teach me, honestly. So I'm very happy with it. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Green. Thank you, Mist. Thank you so much. Hello, Kai. Hello, Joe. Hello, Archon. I signed for your Friday for our class in Austin. Nice. Yes, I do have a class. You do whatever you... You, you cannot do whatever you want. You can paint. But no, I can do whatever I want. Really. I can send you pictures of my feet. But anyway. I'll be looking forward to meet you in Austin. And uh, yes, if you guys don't know about it, I'm just going to shamefully sell out and mention the fact that, yes, we do have a class go that is going to be happen next year in Austin and uh, College Park, Maryland. So, I will be in the US, and it's a very rare occasion to meet to me there, because, you know, I'm Italian, I live in Spain. It's not going to be that easy to get me to go to the US again. So, if you want to meet me, if you want to learn from me, if you want to just hang out, but more importantly, learn, because I'll be there to teach, you can find me. Are feet size related to nose size? Yes. And also, you know, what else are they related to? I'm not gonna tell you. You know already. So I'm really liking the bottom here with all of these gradients of color. It's not just magenta, it's magenta going into a reddish tint. And uh, because... Um, you probably don't know this, but like my, my way of painting, uh, display quality painting, in general, in, involves painting the front with light, warm colors, and the back with cooler colors, to suggest like a shadow or something. And this model is not any different than that. It, I, do, I do it mostly to fight off boredom. Because uh, I don't know if you guys ever paint, especially on bigger minis, but on smaller ones as well, that can happen. Um, when you paint the front of a mini and you get it right and it looks nice and everything else, you kind of are done with the mini in a way because you did the most important part of the mini already. So the back becomes basically a chore, right? Because you are just going to paint it with the same colors, same things, and you already done that, so that's super annoying. But, but if you do it like this, in a sense that uh, you can uh, you can have fun with changing the uh, temperature of the paint job. Then you can kind of challenge yourself a bit more and make the paint job more more bearable. That's that's what I found out at least. And like at the end of the day, it just looks good, in a sense that whoever picks up the mini will be a little bit based by, by the fact that the shadow is following the model, in a sense. So that, that's pretty cool. I, I like this effect a lot whenever I see it, and uh, I like doing it as well. Now, I would like to lie to you and myself and tell you that I will be finishing this model tonight, but it is extremely likely that I won't, because I only have two hours of work with Reaper here, and this mini is still kind of a long way to be done. But... The very positive thing of it all is that the work I am doing here, while precise, is very menial. In a sense that uh, 
I don't have to think much about what I'm painting. So, if you guys have any questions about painting or anything like that, you are more than free to ask them, because I'll be happy to answer them if I can. As I am just trying to move around the paint job and cleaning it up. We did, uh, I did a lot of the, on my own stream today. Not as much as I would have liked, but enough. And uh, now let's see if we can get something good done on here as well. I've been using a lot of web blending on this mini and uh, it's been really instrumental in getting it done fairly quickly because it still took me about four days to paint. So I think when it comes to hours of work, we are at around 20 something. So it's not that bad for a bust of this size. Enjoy it, Quinley. Thank you for spamming all my stuff. I really appreciate it. Okay. Again, we're not in that bad of a spot. Just need to... Just pushing the paint around a little bit more to get it to clean up our lady. I did have a reflected light at the bottom of the little thing here on the gold of this island. I would like to have it here as well. It is always very interesting and very effective. God damn it. The volume is already loud enough. Leave me alone. I'm not going to push it. Um, what was it saying? Ah, that is always uh, very interesting. Now, of course, this can only really happen on, on bigger minutes. But... Uh, it's always interesting if you can have the color of a detail somehow integrated into the colors of another detail, either through a reflection of light or in the mix of colors. That way you can get a lot more cohesion in the paint job. And that's, that's been like most of the work that I've been doing on this lady really is connecting the colors together. There is yellow in the red, there is red in the golds, there is... All the colors are kind of meeting each other, and it's been difficult. Because... As Joe said today on my stream, it's very easy to make it uh, look like uh, everything is the same color, and there is nothing really happening, but... Uh, If you do manage it properly, it looks pretty nice. So I'm trying my best to be as clean as I can, but I... I also have to do my best not to rush, because this is the part of the paint job that is usually the most dangerous for me. Because I tend to rush it. 
I start feel I start seeing the end of the paint job. I have a very I have a very ADHD mind, which means that when I see the end of a paint job, I, I start getting excited for the next. So my mind kind of drags me into rushing, which is a mistake, of course. Also, let me let me I think my camera is like wrong here. Oop. Okay. Which is of course a mistake. So I have to relax a little bit more and do proper work. Because this is the this this step, even though it's <laughs> this step, even though it looks like I am not doing too much to the mini, it is very important because it is the step that gives a definition to things and makes the paint job look clean and without it you're always like feeling like the paint job is missing something I can... Hello Tavern, how you doing dude? I'm good, I'm good. Been having a bit of a weird day, you know. I woke up, uh, I, I guess I woke up you know, on the bed side, of, on the wrong side of the bed or something, but I've been uh, kind of angry without really a reason. But you know, the day is almost over, so. But yeah, I have this sneaking feeling that even though I am doing this paint job here on this stream, I am going to be ending up having to paint this also on my own stream Friday a little bit more. Which is fine. It's like I'm, it's not like I'm, I'm sad or anything. I do like this model, but... Thank you. No, I, I, I mean, I, I like it a lot too. I think overall, this is my the the best bust I've painted. So that's that's pretty good. I, I'm happy with that. Hey, I have learned a lot. Lately, I've been putting a lot of effort into thinking more about things. And like the, the thing that makes me the, the most happy is that the things I figured out on this lady, I've been able to drag them on on the next paint job, which is going to be for Patreon, which is even better because I can teach it. Uh, this is the dude that I'm working on for, uh, for my Patreon. And... Uh, uh, it's gonna be... I think it's gonna be pretty nice. Although, with the Reaper camera, for some reason, 
you see the my painting a little bit different which is annoying but whatever i i will have to figure out how to fix that Okay, I might want to get a bit more light to the neck, I think. Which is not really a light, because it's a... It's a more desaturated version of the color. But it's going to look like a light in shadow. Just a little bit, though, nothing, nothing serious. Okay. Let me insist a little bit more with the blue. Here. Thank you. Yeah, the little blingy bling on the on the on the thing is nice because if you look at it, it actually isn't painted on the belt. The blingy bling is painted on the clothing. But because it is painted on the clothing, it makes you it fools you into believing that the light is blooming from the from the belt. And uh, it's it's a pretty cool trick of the light. That's for I need a bit more intensity out of this red. Because I really like the bottom here. The, the bottom really works out. It looks like a regal color that's nice and, and makes sense with the with the reds that I have in the front. Here at the top, I feel like I am missing just a little bit of a light. Can you make a good starting point resource for learning about color theory and how to apply it? Uh, my Patreon, dude. I mean, you are in it, aren't you? I have, if you look, if you... If you, in the Patreon, you look for uh, the keyword color theory, you will find a series of like nine guides all about each color on the color wheel and how it works and its properties and uh, what makes it what. And then I have another guide on the Patreon uh, that is called How to Mix Colors, which I think is a very good guide because 
it makes you understand how to create any color you want just by thinking a little bit about it. And that that guide, even though I did it a, a while ago, I still follow it myself. Like, uh, that's how I mix colors. Okay. I feel like I'm liking this now. A bit more. Oh my god! This bread shit! No! I was... I was trusting you. Ah, it's okay, baby. You've been busy. Okay, let's do some non-BBD metallic BBD. I have one last thing, I think, to paint in a metallic. Which would be this bracelet. Thank you, Gwendolina. Thank you so much. You wanna star. Star! Now hopefully you aren't a star, otherwise... You're gonna have a big monster chasing you around. Okay, good BBD. So we can just insist more on the light. I don't really need to do that much uh, highlighting and shading on this on this gold. It's just little lines. So just follow volume and uh, and add the color accordingly. I have a few contracts left at work to do, and then I'm out of office. Oh, nice!
My streaming schedule should be pretty much unaltered during these uh, Christmas BBDs. I think I am going to miss the 25th. But that's pretty much it. <clears throat> okay, good, 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 Okay, let's black line a little bit, just to separate details from one another, otherwise... Everything starts to look like it's mixing together. I really don't enjoy black lining, but... It has to be done. I definitely, definitely should have charged way more for this paint job, though. Just, uh, just, uh, just want to mention that. Like way, way more. Although, I guess it's karma, like positive karma for the customer, because they are somebody that really like my work and have been uh, have been giving me commissions for a while now and uh, really enjoy what I do. So you know, it's it's good. Uh, But like, I'm, I'm, I probably should have doubled the price of this mini, to be honest. Had I known, I would have, maybe, I don't know. Okay. Okay, I'm, so, I'm, 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 I think I'm, I'm, on. I'm, 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 I like it, I like it. I'm liking it. What are your plans for Christmas, guys? Is anybody gonna travel or do anything cool?
Think of you in a handsome yard. Well, that's... That is a pretty good way to spend your Christmas time. I'll be honest with you. How you doing, Mike? <clears throat> Air fryer. Ah, nice. So this guy should have ordered the chip. Well done. <laughs> Control left at, left at work to do, and then I'm out of the office until the new year. You already re I already read that. I was like, haven't she? Hasn't she said that? No, it's not like you already said that. It's I already read that. Travel all around your apartment, that's good. Coughing and having COVID. I'll be going to my aunt's house. That's cute. That's cute. Trying to insist a bit more on the blue, if possible, in this area of shadow. Mostly because I have a, a, a very intensely blue shadow on the face. And uh, if I don't drag this blue around, that means that I'm gonna have to unblue the face. And I don't wanna do that because it's too much work. So I'm gonna instead try to just play around with this blue color a bit more with glazes a bit too tough uh, I'll be I'll be at uh, at my girlfriend's uh, parents house for Christmas all our family is coming and uh, there's gonna be... I, I don't know what's gonna happen because I never had it happen in my life. Uh, my life never did a Christmas meeting, a family meeting or a Christmas lunch or stuff like that. So I have no idea what to expect because it will be my first. Hello Space, how you doing? Over the holiday, I'm trying to catch up on what I've been neglecting, painting, getting a good chair. Chair, uh, I suggest autonomous. I would stay away from uh, from gaming chairs. Yeah, I think I, I think I will enjoy it. I think it's gonna be fun. Autonomous.
I love these songs. Uh, I use a white palette. You can make one yourself or you can buy one. And... Uh, it's a very simple design, really, but the way it works is that it makes your paint not dry. Not quickly, at least. It takes a few hours for it to, for it to dry. So I'm just trying to make the the area of warmth agree with the area of coolness a bit more. It is a slightly complicated thing because you have to have a lot of clashing color kind of works in the in, in place. Yeah, it's a manufacturer.
Okay, so if the red is carrying enough color to show red in the light, that means that the skin needs to carry enough color to show mid-tone in shadow, at least a little bit, because otherwise the skin in relationship to the red is going to look a little bit poop. So I don't have to use the same saturation. I can use a bit more desaturated color. But I do have to have a light on the skin that is somewhat similar to them, to the mid-tone. Not too bad, not too bad. We're getting, we're getting somewhere. See, like, I want to be fancy and do the cool background light thing on the back, and then I always regret doing it because it takes forever to just get the two sides to look like they belong to one another. And then after regretting it, I continue doing it anyway. Because I'm just a... Uh, just a sucker for pain. Oof. Um, I have enough water on the palette, in the palette, to have a very, a very, um, very, very small, almost imperceptible film of water on top of the sponge. But again, more than water amount, what, what would matter is what wet palette are you using? What paper are you using? What sponge, I mean, are you using? Not what wet palette. Because, like, each sponge reacts differently. I like this wet palette because the sponge is really good at holding water and doesn't seem to be letting go of it very easily and... Uh, But I've tried multiple other palettes where the sponge was terrible and the paper was even worse. 
Seeing how thin your paints are makes me feel a lot better about how I thin, thin my paints. My paints aren't thin though. That's the thing. My paint are not thin. If I load the brush and I do this, my paint is a base coat. The difference is that I barely load the brush and I clean it and I get this. But this, wait, where is my freaking, okay, this that I'm getting here is done with the same consistency of this. Same consistency. Take care, Giovanni. I... Um, I personally don't like that palette very much. I've tried it several times in several occasions, I just cannot get myself to like either the paper or the sponge. Uh, well, since the Reaper doesn't have their own, I can I can I can willy nilly recommend. Uh, my favorite is the Green Stuff World wet palette. I use the XL palette from my Green Stuff World, and I love it. The paper they sell is also really good. So like besides besides the this the container and the sponge, the paper recharges they sell are really, really good. I miss them a lot because I don't have them anymore. I am I run out. But I, I miss painting with those because uh, the paint felt so good. I don't know where the paper comes from, like, who's their, um, how do you call it, who's their uh, BBD, you know what I mean, right? I don't know who it is, but it's really good. I mean, parchment paper is fine. There is nothing. There is nothing intrinsically wrong with parchment paper. You can you can use that, and, and uh, you'll be fine.
But you can see that going back to the consistency of the paint. If I decide my paint is full coverage because I don't really thin it much. So my paint, if I want to, based on which brush stroke I do, I get full coverage. If I want to be softer, I can do, I can just unload the brush a bit more and just get more softness. But the consistency is pretty much the same. Yeah, and like, beyond that, you have the pressure. If you, if you change the pressure at which you put the paint on the mini. Like, have you ever, have you ever thought about why, like, Spanish painters especially, because they're the ones that have mastered it this way. This control of the brush over other nationalities overall. I mean, of course, there are exceptions. But like, whenever you hear a Spanish painter speak about painting, they never really talk about dilution. While everybody else seems to be freaking fixated with dilution. The reason is because them and I and a bunch of other painters not necessarily Spanish have understood that there is not really that much importance in how thin the paint is because as long as the paint brand you're using isn't absolute garbage you don't really need to thin the paint that much now there are exceptions like if you're using if you're using uh, heavy body paints you gotta thin them if you're using like the scale 75 uh, artist acrylics you gotta thin them chimera paints a bit of thinness will help but like what, what I'm talking about, like, the, the, the everyday paint brands that we see and we use, you don't really need to thin the paint. Hello, Alex. All you gotta do is just have a damp brush, because that's where the difference lies, and I'll show you. Because, like, I'm already committed to never finishing this model, apparently. So, like, it doesn't matter if I, if I show you or not. Like... Hola, croqueta! Eso es rojo. Mm, casco. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué bueno, es bien? Ya es el primo. Es el primo. Vale. Nada, acabó, acabó. Sí, ¿Tú qué vas a hacer? ¿Vas a hacer Eres tú que tienes que elegir esa serie, ¿verdad? ¿no? Uh -huh. ¿Me gustas la de tú? ¿Quieres otra cita de la de anoche o...? ¿Cómo quieres tú, amor? ¿Eres tú que elegís? No, no, coño. Sí, ok. Eh, ¡Elígelo! ¡Es tu vida! Espera, también la tuya. Sí, pero yo me arreglo. Tú no tienes que hacer nada conmigo porque quiero yo. No, pero si tú quieres ir en directo. María, si quieres estar conmigo, 
No, no te preocupes, no, no te preocupes. Si no te preocupes. Ah. Ahí está. ¿Puedo coger nada? Sí, sí. Está guay. So, anyway. Uh, if my brush is really dry and I load the paint on it, you can see it here on the, on the palette that I'm loading the paint, and I try to give a few brush strokes, the, the brush immediately runs out of paint because it wasn't able to load very much paint due to the fact that it wasn't wet, so it wasn't really triggering the ability of Kolinsky, because Kolinsky, what happens is that the bristles absorb water. They keep water inside of them. As you put paint against the bristles, they release the water, thinning the paint, making it that the brush can absorb more paint. So if the brush is very dry, you're basically left without paint when you go and load it. If the brush is damp and you do the same thing, loading it, you get a lot more paint on the mini. That's it. That's like the thinness of paint. And like, it's actually genius too, because the, the thinness of the paint is no longer something alchemical, but it's something very simple, which is your brush should be damp. Which means if you're doing a very fine detail, how much should you thin the paint? Well, you're using a, as you're going to be using a smaller brush. So the smallness of the brush is going to make up for that. So just load the brush and have like a damp brush if you're doing a, a giant base coat on on a ship or whatever how thin should the paint be well you're gonna be using a huge brush so just have it damp and it will automatically work for you you don't have to think it And so, like, understanding that is very important because from there, your paints will stop being chalky and have, like, bad coverage and look kind of poopy because you're finally getting the full coverage out of them. And then, from that point, you're just going to be playing around with consistency, with the amount of paint, with pressure, and then you're occasionally going to glaze like I just did to, to clean up or... Uh, uh, sort out small areas. Like now I'm glazing. Why am I glazing? Because I'm not really looking to put paint on the mini at a level of, I don't want the color to be a block in color. I want this color to um, influence the already painted colors. So I am glazing, but if I if I wanted this color to be on the mini, I wouldn't be glazing for an hour to get the coverage out of it. I would just slap it onto the mini in the way I've shown you. And uh, my brush, my initial brush strokes would be kind of heavy to get the paint out of the brush, and then my su subsequent one would be a lot softer to get the blend in. Like for example, I don't know if it, it, it I mean this entire cloth. I painted it in like 20 minutes. When I when I when I got to work on it and I figured out how I wanted it and stuff, I, I got it done in 20 minutes. Give or take. Making a bit of a mess here, but I don't like this. Uh, this shadow here is a bit too intense, so I'm gonna reduce it a bit. No problem. If you guys have other questions, just ask. I, if I can answer on stream, I will answer. If I can't answer on stream, the answer is probably on the Patreon.
Okay, starting to 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 feel like we are we might be able to finish this model of one day. One day. Ah, oh, man. In a certain way, I went beyond the passion with this. Like, this is an obsession. I really like this job. Really, really like it. <laughs> I love the baby comment. We probably got that painted in, in a dark color before doing the face, but whatever. Whatever. I just need it to be dark, really. Nobody's going to look at that particular area to, to, to see anything, really. So as long as I paint it dark, we're all going to be happy here. Now, here on the chest, I got a little bit of piece of paper from the sprue, from, uh, from, the, from the parchment. So I can either remove it with, with the back of a knife, or I can do this. Let me see if I can show you. I don't know if it's gonna look good or not, but like, might be cool. Maybe if I highlight it, it can it can look more like it's intended. It can be a mole, you know? Or I can just get rid of it. Yeah, I've been I've been doing this for a living for five years now. No, it's out of scale. I don't like.
gonna have to wait a second so I can fill in the hole because of course the the thing created a hole now that I removed it and I have to fill it with paint Yeah, I'm not, I'm not exactly a very cautious painter. Diggy diggy hole, diggy diggy hole. I don't really want to spend too much time on this uh, on this little cord thing, so I'm just gonna treat it very simply like this.
It's not my stream guy. But but is there any mode pet the viewer? So anyway, I am uh, working here on getting these little gems, sorta explained. That's enough, really. I don't need to do much more than that. The only problem here is the chicken. Because getting... Getting these... Uh, Getting these colors to look good, even in a blue setup, <laughs> is gonna be very tough. Hello, <laughs> Kios. Thank you, dude. How are you doing? That's really good. I'm glad. Mm 
It's always nice. The bounce back after a bad period of time, you know? The, you finally breathe again. That's really good. Because you're thinking about not fucking it up. That's why your hands shake. Like if you're doing something very precise and you're thinking, man, I really hope I don't get paint everywhere here. Your hands are going to start shaking because automatically you're going to uh, brace yourself. And uh, the reason why I don't shake is because I just have enough confidence to be like... Uh, Confident in my ability to not make a mistake and even more confident in my ability of fixing it if it happens. So either way, I don't care. And not caring really helps out a lot, actually. Like it's, it's, it's a bit of a weird thing, but it, it like confidence is an important tool to have in this, in this uh, hobby. Now, of course, like there's a difference between confidence and arrogance. Confidence is when you have practiced something a lot. Arrogance is when you think you're going to be good at it, regardless of ever done it. Um, you know. The truth is that the more you fuck up, the better you get at stuff. See, I made a mistake here. I got paint on the side here, but if I clean the brush fast enough, and I just scrape it against the surface, I can remove most of the mistake. Meaning that it basically didn't happen.
Okay. Did you just bleed like a go- me? Uh, no. I didn't, no. Wait, what does bleed mean? Uh, this one. No, I didn't. Wait till you have sex with me, dude.
I will one day complete this model. Yeah, I'm way closer than when I started. Yeah, we're just about there, I'm uh, Andrew. I mean, we should be in a good spot. I just need to... I guess I'm just suffering from success, you know, because like I'm improving faster than I can that I can complete a model, which means that in the span of the same paint job, I paint something that I think it's really good, and then like the next day I already see it as a mistake. So that's kind of annoying, but I mean it's not. I'm actually very happy, but it's just you know. Growing pains. it out.
Almost. Almost. I can feel it. It's tingling. You know, you know where, right? You know when I feel a tingling? Where it's localized. I can feel like a tingling. It's like... Just need to. Yeah, it's my, it's in my butt. I just need to listen to it. Uh, why Arkham? Oh, I think I got the volume right. Now, now, okay, now I would literally bang this woman. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's what I missed. Just like a micro freaking volume. You know why I like me then? Because I am a sexy individual. You keep using Spanish from time to time. I'll do it. Yeah, I, I, I did tell you that. When I think to myself, I've been thinking in Spanish. Uh, about what, Alex? But it is Mexican though, isn't it? I don't know, maybe it's Spanish also. I don't know. All right, my friends. It's a good time to call it today. I am. I feel myself rush. So, let's just accept that I'm not finishing this model today. And go get some rest, maybe some food. So that's it, I guess. I am uh, very grateful for having you hang out with me. I have such a strong headache right now. Holy shit, okay. So yeah, I'll be seeing you later on my own stream. If you want to, I, I'll be live. Um, I'll be live um, Friday on my own stream. Tomorrow I am not gonna be doing streaming because I am gonna be working on uh, my Patreon, as I did last time. I want to show you guys how it actually looks like because it, the, my painting is not doesn't exactly look like the way. For some reason, when I do the, when I do when I'm on the Reaper stream on the Reaper page of the stream thingy, it, the mod, the colors look a little bit different. But yeah, this is this is what we've been doing. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I guess I'll finish this lady Friday. So yeah, if you want to, you can join me on my own stream pretty much every day. Tomorrow I'll be working on Patreon, which you can also join if you want. Uh, I paint puppets there. 
if I don't get a stroke because I'm actually feeling like I'm about to have one. So yeah, I'll see you guys later, alright? You take care. Bye. Love you.